and so shall it be. Just before we see down 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9 and 10, we had such a great deliverance in this commission last Sunday at one of our churches in Kaduna. We had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves but in God which raised the dead. Verse 10, who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. We had one agent of the devil from the pit of hell that walked his way into a church and put his explosive device on the chair and went to the toilet to detonate it and was pressing and pressing it won't press and it was there for 30 minutes security men became apprehensive they went into the toilet and remained him calling and calling why is he not working amen now that church is about five six thousand people Cost be the senders. Yeah. Cost be their generation. Yeah. It will become history that these devils ever lived in Nigeria. Yeah. Where would we have been if the devil had had his way? But no, it's a proof that God is in the midst of us. Yes. Everybody lift up your two hands and give thanks to God for the victory Rob. Give thanks to God for the victory Rob. Give thanks to God for the victory Rob. The Lord that God is truly in our midst. He will say, He will rejoice over us with singing. He will rest in His law. He will joy over us with singing. Celebrate Him. Lord Jesus, we thank you. The glory belongs to you, not unto us, but unto you. We give glory. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Thank you for proving that you are in the midst of your people. Thank you for not defying the plans of the wicked. Thank you for bringing their plans to naught. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Lot of progress in unraveling the source, and we will hear the good news. Amen. We live in a nation that is at war with ourselves. We have a most retrogressive, most callous, most insensitive government in place. Whether Boko Haram's are government officials or referrals or combined, we don't know. But in the name of the Lord Jesus, who is king over this nation, is king over all the earth. What is Nigeria? Is king over all the earth. His name is called the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Every gang of official, non-official, against 
the well-being of the church in Nigeria comes under a curse today. <laughs> when Elisha cursed those mockers, in the name of the Lord, they were eaten up by beers. When prophets cause, things happen. Yes. When prophets, I don't care what death is behind them. When prophets cause, things happen. Yes. For mocking the church of Christ mm. and turning the church of Christ to a pre and how to feed on their flesh. The law has arisen. As a mighty man of war, they shall eat their own flesh. They shall be drunk with their own blood. And God's people in Nigeria have finally escaped. You will hear news. When God fights a man, the man is finished. God has a reason to fight the cause of the just. Nigeria will no rest again. We shall have peace restored to this land. Those who don't want to be here, they are free to go. Go back to here, where you came from. Thank you, Jesus. Unveiling 